हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट स्पार्क प्लग्स मोर स्पेसिफिकली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए रेजिस्टर स्पार्क प्लग एंड ए नॉन रेजिस्टर स्पार्क प्लग एज यू ऑल नो स्पार्क प्लग्स आर यूज्ड टू इग्नाइट द एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर इन एनी स्पार्क इग्निशन इंजन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स कंपोनेंट्स इन एनी स्पार्क प्लग देर आर थ्री मेजर पार्ट्स एन इंसुलेटर रॉड विच इज मेड अप ऑफ सिरामिक्स लाइक एलोमिना देन देर इज अ पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स in which there is a ground electrode and then there is a central electrode they are both made up of nickel alloy then there is a outer shell which is made up of steel or in some cases it is also made up of copper the insulator rod surrounds the central electrode and the ground electrode is welded with the outer shell of this spark plug these threads on the outer shell are used to tighten the spark plug with the engine head here i have the spark plug and you can see the white color ceramic rod this rod is actually hollow in which there is a central electrode from this point to that point and there is a outer shell of the spark plug on which there are threads you can also see the ground electrode and a central electrode this ground electrode is welded on the outer shell of the spark plug and the central electrode is in the spark plug so that's how the spark plug assembly completes so now let's move towards the main topic this resistor here is the main difference between a resistor spark plug and a non resistor spark plug but why we need this resistor in order to explain this we need to understand the working of the spark plug as i mentioned earlier spark plugs are used to ignite the air fuel mixture and in order to doing it so any spark plug first has to ionize this dielectric gas present in between these electrodes and this gas is a dielectric so it has a very high energy band it is a very high voltage band and in order to move the electrons from the central electrode towards this dielectric gas in order to ionize this in order to produce the ignition spark we need very high voltages up to 20000 volts or greater than 20000 volts in many cases and we also know that in four strokes there will be only one spark generated so the voltage here in this central electrode will not constant it will not be 20000 volt every time it will decrease to zero after the 20000 volts will reach and this changing electric field in this central electrode produce the electromagnetic waves around the spark plug as we all know that the changing electric field produces a magnetic field the resulting electromagnetic waves have different frequency ranges and it will interfere with the onboard electrical systems fm signals and uhf signals present in any car and these waves are called ignition electrical noise in order to minimize them a noise suppression resistor plays its role it is a wire wound resistor and its ohmic value r and self inductance l will give its frequency response behavior actually with the changing frequency the impedance of the resistor will be changed and that's how it will damp the ignition electrical noise or electromagnetic waves up to the safe level here i have the graph between the noise on the x axis and here are the frequency ranges for the different installed systems in a car on the x axis this line shows a acceptable level of noise and for a non uh, resistor spark plug these levels are very high up to the unsafe value and for the resistor spark plug these levels are in the safe region so that's the major difference between a resistor spark plug and a non resistor spark plug if you guys have any question comment below i'll try to answer them and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you so much